Well, I'm back from my trip from Austin, and now it's time to unpack. Well, it looks like TSA went through my um, bag, and they really moved stuff around because this book that Debbie gave me was way at the bottom. It's a beautiful sunny day today, and a couple of thoughts I had about the trip was there were things I really enjoyed doing in Austin, like... Uh, going to the bakery, walking, and so I tried to incorporate some of that in my day today. And as I unpack, the first thing I'm going to say is I don't need to bring so much stuff. I could have been good with one pair of jeans. I didn't need my um, tripod. Um, I had to bring nice clothes when we went to church, but I could have brought a lot less stuff. So. Thing number one I learned is quit bringing so much stuff. We didn't give each other presents, we gave each other experiences. So the trip to Austin was our present and my sister did awesome with getting all the food. Thanks Jackie. And my mom did awesome by paying for the car and groceries and being a good sport and just going with the flow. When she couldn't go places, she was fine. To just stay at the Airbnb and that was cool and but me boy I'm gonna give myself a C because one thing let me take another cup of pills and don't worry about me these are all vitamins for my hip none of them is prescription just vitamins but it makes me feel like an old lady which my sister reminded me I am so anyway um I wasn't very good with patients. I was pretty good with patients with like the airport people and a little bit with myself, but boy, I lost it with my family. And part of it was I forgot what I was gonna do when I was there and I was gonna be less of me, more of them. And I just wanted to talk all the time, which was stupid. And um, I wish I'd done better. So I guess we have to have another trip so I can practice doing better had a lot of really cool things and I did everything is Harris said to do when you go to a place. I found a coffee shop right down the street. Karen used to work there as a baker I bet 30 years ago. They've redone it of course a million times over. It's really cool. I got coffee and my favorite buckwheat scone. I got that almost every day. The next thing we did was is Harris recommends you go as high find a high spot and see the city from above. And we went to the new Austin library for the city and you could walk on the outside. Oh, it was just drop dead gorgeous. And we were kind of on a little hill and I practiced filming a little bit at night. I'm still learning, still learning, so it's not perfect. And the other thing was we went on some hikes. We walked on the boardwalk in Austin, which is new. And my sister took us on a part of the Lady, Lake Ladybird Trail I had not seen. And those were fun things that we did. So we did everything as Harris says to do when you go on a trip. But we're talking about the Austin trip. And I thought while well, I'm cleaning in the bathroom, um, which has gotten kind of messy, I talk about another thing about traveling is other people can really motivate you. And my sister has lost just a ton of weight and she looks really good. And I've been proud of my own progress with my hip, but I need to get about 20 pounds off my frame. And she was just really great motivation. We drove around Austin and looked at the lights. And of course we were in a really rich area, but gave me some inspiration for how I might want to do my outside lights next year. And um, that was cool because people don't do lights up here the way they do in Austin. Prior to leaving, we saw two talented young women. We went to a fun night out with family and enjoyed 6 a.m. SeaTac Airport Entertainment. We got all the Christmas dinner from Shay Z. Thanks, Jackie. 
great people make for a great visit and holiday. We ate lunch at our favorite Tex-Mex place, Santa Rita. Karen and I used to eat dinner here all the time, and we would always sit at a booth by these shoes. After our lunch, us girls went for a walk around Lake Lady Bird and went to the Austin Nature Center. Just a minute. With, with animals. Mass at St. Mary is always special. My parents were married here. Karen and I started our Christmas morning with a walk on the new boardwalk on Lake Ladybird. It was fun Karen went with us. Um, Karen is so even killed. So what should I tell her? That's, the turkey's been in for an hour. On this bridge, which I have called the belt bridge, there's some guerrilla art where people have put belts up with song lyrics. Oracle has built their brand new glass campus right on the boardwalk. After visiting, we sat down to a delicious dinner and great pie. Others had to go out. We took a day trip to San Antonio to go to Our Lady of the Lake, where my mother's two sisters who are nuns, are buried. This is the most beautiful area 
dedicated to the Stations of the Cross. This is the cemetery where all the sisters are buried, and I'm always awestruck with so many lives lived for service of others. Bonnets have been planted here. The Austin Public Library is a real treasure right on the lake with beautiful views from all the windows and even a live oak tree on the roof. being home is um, sleep in your own bed. I just took a bath. But you get to reflect on the trip. And one of the things that I'm reflecting on is to enjoy your own city a little bit. Like, it's beautifully sunny today. And I went for a nice walk. And um, I went to our little coffee shop, went to the grocery store, things that I kind of enjoyed when I, that I did when I was in Austria. This Christmas is mine.